We're going to move on to operations with numbers written in scientific notation. Before we do that, we're going to do a quick review of writing numbers in scientific notation and changing back and forth between um, scientific notation and standard form. So you can see a couple of examples up here. If you have 9,500,000 to turn it into scientific notation, you start with the decimal at the back, which is not shown, um, but it's there, you know this, and you're going to count the number of spaces it has to go in before you have one digit in front of the decimal, which in this case is 6. So you would write it as 9.5 times 10 to the 6. If you have this number over here written in scientific, to write it in scientific notation, you're moving the decimal right, so it's smaller. This is a very small number, so your exponent is a negative number. So remember, if you have a very small number, a number less than 1, your exponent's negative. If you have a number larger than 1, your exponent is positive. So let's move down here just as an example. So if we want to write 45,340 in scientific notation, we're going to move our decimal 1, 2, 3, 4 places. It moved left, so that means it's going to be a positive. So our scientific notation is 4.534 times 10 to the fourth. 1.4 million, our decimal moves 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times. It went left. So in scientific notation, it would be 1.4 times 10 to the 6th. This number right here, it is less than 1. So our decimal has to move right 1, 2, 3 places. And since it moved right, it's going to be negative. This one's also moving right, one, two, three, four places. And again, this is just review. None of this should be new, which is why I'm going through it kind of quickly. Two times 10 to the negative fourth. Next one, one, two, oops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight places. We moved right, so we will have 9.14 times 10 to the negative 8. And then down here, last one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, left. So this number will be 9.005 times 10 to the ninth. So then this last little bit of review here at the bottom, you're going to go from scientific notation to standard form, which is the opposite of what we just did. And this line here is just to show the work. So if we have 1.3 times 10 to the second, that means it's a positive exponent, so this number is going to be greater than 1. Um, if we moved this way, then you would end up with a number less than 1. So we don't want that. So it is move two places, fill in your empty space with a 0. The answer is 130. Next one is 3.4 times 10 to the negative 4. Negative means we're going left. 1, 2, 3, 4. There's our decimal. Fill in each empty space with a 0. So that would be your answer for that one. OK, 3.05 times 10 to the 6, positive 6. So we move 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We add in four zeros. Three million fifty thousand. One point one zero five times ten squared. Move to the right two times, so one hundred and ten and five tenths. And then this last one, nine point two four. It's a negative six, so we move um, six places left. One two. Two three four five six. Here's your decimal. Fill in the empty spaces. And there you go. So just remember, don't get confused and accidentally um, add zeros to represent the exponent. Um, and that's not how it, how it goes. Remember, the exponent tells you how many places to move the decimal, not how many zeros you add. So that, now that we had that quick review, let's go into operations with scientific notation. So you can add and subtract, multiply, and divide numbers written in scientific notation. So when you are adding and subtracting, you are going to first raise all powers of 10 to the same exponent. And you're going to do this by moving the decimal point 
to slide up and down powers of 10. So up here, when we were moving this decimal point, we were sliding up and down powers of 10. So if you need to increase the exponent, you're going to move the decimal left, and which you might think well, it usually goes right is increase. Nope. Um, move the decimal left to increase and right to decrease. And then you're going to add or subtract the constants. So I'm going to zoom in over here at this example. So you're adding 6.4 times 10 to the fifth and 3.2 times 10 to the eighth. And you need to look at these as whole expressions, so we can't separate them but you need your exponents to be the same. So you could either bring the eight down to a five or the five up to an eight. In this example here, the five goes up to an eight. So to get five to eight, it's three. So they took the decimal and moved it one, two, three places. So now it's this expression plus this expression. And then what you do is you add the constants, leave, that, leave this the same over here. And then this is your answer. Now you have to make sure this is in proper scientific notation, which here it is, but sometimes that's not the case. So let's look at these examples here. So we have 10 to the fourth and 10 squared. I'm going to go ahead and make the 10 squared up to a 10 to the fourth. So I'm gonna leave this first expression the same. And this one, since I wanna go bigger, I, then I need to move my decimal to the left two places. So 5.6 is going to become 0 0.056 and it will become 10 to the fourth. And then I'm going to just add the constants. So you will have 1.096 times 10 to the fourth. And I'm just going to do three examples under each one. So we're not we're watching the examples go. Um, here we go. We're subtracting. So we've got a negative 10 exponent and a negative 8 exponent. I am going to move the negative 8 exponent to a negative 10. So this expression will stay the same. And this time, so for my, if I'm going from a negative 8 to a negative 10, I'm actually making the number smaller. If you're making the number smaller, you want your decimal to move to the right. So this is going to turn into 122 times 10 to the negative 10. And no, that's not in proper scientific notation, and that's fine when you're rewriting it like this. So then we are going to do the subtraction, and you end up with negative 117 Point seven times 10 to the negative 10. Now, you know proper scientific notation have three digits in front of the decimal. So we need that decimal to move left two places. And when the decimal moves left two places, it means this exponent needs to get smaller. So we simplify, or we rewrite this in proper scientific notation, and we end up with 1.177 times 10 to the negative 8 as the final answer. Okay, this one down here, um, it looks like there's a, a rogue parentheses here, so we'll just use it and add in some more. So we are subtracting. We have exponents of 5 and 2. I'm going to go ahead and bring the 2 up to a 5, so I'm going to leave this the same. And then since I'm going up to a five, I'm moving the decimal three places to the left. So, and then we're going to subtract. So I have 6.3 minus this super teeny number over here, and we're gonna end up with 6.296998 times 10 to the fifth. Super long number, but there's only one decimal place, uh, one number in front of the decimal place. So it's already written in proper scientific notation. Okay, so that's adding and subtracting. What about multiplying and dividing? And if you want a little bit of more practice with adding and subtracting, you can pause the video and you can do um, copy down these three problems right here and work on them if you'd like. But I'm gonna move on to multiplying and dividing. So the first thing you're going to do is you're gonna split the expressions into constants and powers of 10. Then you're going to, and we'll go through this, I'll look, look here. So these are your constants. 
they come together here. Here are your powers of 10, they come together here. Then you are going to multiply the constants, which is right here. Then you're going to multiply the powers of 10. Remember your product rule. So 10 to the 5th times 10 to the 8th becomes 10 to the 13th. And then you have to write your answer in proper scientific notation. So this is what the product ended up being, but that's not proper scientific notation. So it needs to be written this way. The decimal had to move one place to the left, so the exponent had to move up one. So one, uh, once again, we're going to do three examples. So we have 9.34 times 10 to the fourth. So we will multiply our constants, 9.34 times 5.2, and then we multiply the exponents, 10 to the fourth times 10 squared. And what you get is, hold on here, okay, 48.568 times 10 to the sixth, but this decimal here, it's going to have to move one place to the left, 4.8568, and since it did that, our exponent is going to go up one. And if you're unsure why, um, or you're not sure if you moved it the right direction, you can check with the calculator, um, but it's best if you know how to do this without. So division is the exact same way. You divide the constants, and then you divide your exponents, remembering your quotient rule. So here we have uh, 3.75 divided by 4. We end up with 0 0.9375 times 10 squared, because remember we subtract the exponents, not divide. And then, um, but you can't have 0 in front. So we need to move our exponent, I'm sorry, backwards. We need to move our exponent this way. So we want 9.375, and since the exponent moved to the right, I'm sorry, the decimal moved to the right, our exponent is going to go down. Okay, last example right here, 1.8 times 2.02, .02, and then we have 10 to the fifth times 10 squared. 1.8 times 2.02 .02 is 3.636. 10 to the fifth times 10 squared is 10 to the seventh power. And this is already in proper scientific notation, so there is nothing you need to do with that. If you'd like three more practice problems, you can do these right here. And then I'm not going to work these out, but I am going to go ahead and give you the answers to these three and the three up here. So if you want to work them out, go ahead and hit pause and then come back and grab the answers. So again, I'm just writing the answers and we're not going to work all these out. But I don't want to give you problems and not give you the answers. Okay, so there's those three. Pause if you need to and write them down. Check your work. And then the three multiplication or division answers. So there you go. These are operations with scientific notation, and there's everything all together.